That was a good segue point. Now, Snake, what was your bad point? Uh, yeah, this is uh, kind of relevant, I suppose, because it's basically my bad. My bad point is that if N is if Ents just lets Sphinx leave to Vitality in, in some way, I think this is just lights out for for Ents, and I really appreciated with what or I appreciated what Ents have put together for the last say eight eight or so months basically turning into this this new year everything has been has looked really nice for them and since basically since the stockholm major i think they've just been on an upward trajectory actually and for them to lose their star player i think that's just i don't even know if that's necessarily good for Spinks in terms of the the role that he's going to be playing in terms of what he's going to be doing on that team i think that the contract or the money is going to be definitely higher for him on vitality and that's why he has to strongly consider that sort of option but in terms of where both of those teams are headed for me yeah ends didn't have a great turnout at cologne i i, I think that that's something I would be more likely to write off than what I've seen for Vitality, where it's like, really, you want to just jump into this team that has so many uh, persistent issues? That, that that doesn't sit well with me in terms of Spinks' trajectory, in terms of his career. And if he just goes one for one for Masuda, some of those roles actually are okay for him, but they're not all perfect. So I don't think that that's actually really, I don't think that's necessarily that good. I really just don't think it's that good for him. And I really just think that this guts ends in a way where this was a team that consistently felt like they were a top four, top five team at almost every tournament that they played. And even so much so that when they played at Dallas using a stand-in for Spinks, the system carried them so hard and a couple other players uh, stepped up in their roles that they were still able to achieve a top two status, a top two finish there. So for, for the one tournament to go badly and for these rumors to already be popping up that Spinks is going to leave, that they're going to be taking him on Vitality, I just think that that's just... It's a double whammy in terms of things being bad. I think it's just bad for Ents, not even necessarily that good for Spanx. I think it's... Think it's uh, <laughs> I think it's... Um, they don't have a choice if they're Ents. That's the, th mm -hmm. that's the problem, right? Uh, for Ents, it's obviously going to be bad, especially if they, you know, uh, lose him and bring players like Snacks. Like because he played a good tournament before, yeah. like you know that that that's a disaster. That's I always admire Ants to be honest. Yeah. The way they assembled this team from nothing, you know, back for the Alexi was there and the the, the sure. Sergey and the whole team, and they just fell into this pit of you know nothingness, and they brought themselves up and not to and whoever did and the coach so I I, I respect a lot. I think he's doing a very good job. Yeah, yeah. Brought this team together <clears throat> and they're playing well. But the thing is like being being Ants is just that's the problem the yeah ends, you know that's uh borussia dortmund for you right and Sphinx is holland for you right he is gonna go he is gonna take the higher contract he is gonna go to your manchester city to your real madrid you know in this case being vitality or whatever the other team is right if he decides to stay I think that would be a, a, pro a problematic for him, right? Unless they can bring another Oper, which they missed out on Dexter, in order to get them into the competition yeah. to be a title contender team right now. So I, I, I honestly, I don't think the rumors of him wanting to leave is because of the bad Cologne. It's just getting into a team with Zaivu and Zonic and you know and and and, and this other this the, the organization like like Vitality, right? Which is a very respectable and very you know, financially stable, let's say it like that, right? They can offer him high yes. contract and I would take it. If I'm Spinks, I would take it in terms of roles. To answer that, I think there is a slight gap in the aggressiveness. I think uh, Spinks is more of a aggressive on his own term yeah, rather yeah. than being in a system kind of player. But, you know, if you're Zonic, you are still a like, Hall of Fame coach that needs to do this and needs to make this need to make this happen i would like to see jks also in that lineup that would fit very well but also we could have to go back to the expiration date of some of those players dupree is 29 years old he's past his prime he has good good games but he needs to constantly have good games so you can have the finals against phase so you can have the finals against vitality uh, uh navi sorry so they need to fix that role as well. It's not that Spinks is going to be an upgrade for them, but you know, I I, I want to see Dupree for the next 12 to 18 months delivering his old form. Otherwise, they need to find a replacement there too. 
Yeah, for me, I would go mainly on the end side of it because, like Kassad says there, the real problem is this. Like, I even addressed it with Nata when I did an interview with him, what, like a month and a half ago or something. It's just like it was inevitable at some point this guy's going to go. And actually, if you even know the business of sports and esports, actually, if you have a player like that, as counterintuitive to a fan as it might seem, you actually want to sell him before the contract runs out. Like, it's way worse to just wait till, like, the day of his contract's up and he just goes, right, I'm going, but it's for free. See ya. And you're just sat with nothing. Like, you'd wait rather have like 200,000 or something try and buy another player and see if he can become good because the real problem if you ends is like I say realistically like he'd have to be a very unique type of player to choose to say like, like you gave the Haaland example there Kassad, but the other I'll give you another example it's a, it's a more extreme one but I'm a Liverpool fan right so you can imagine like me and my, me and my family who support Liverpool we didn't even pretend like Mohamed Salah's going to sign again mate we actually all just thought if he doesn't look we had the best we want look we got all the fucking European Cup out of here won the league like if he just said like I'm going to Barcelona for the next 10 years that would, or PSG or something that would actually be totally par for the course the way football works because the problem is this right was Liverpool the best team before he joined of course they fucking weren't he is the reason that they were really good but as a result logically if he then leaves they're not going to be as good so it rarely Every now and then you'll get a player that will just choose to stay bizarrely, and they just maybe they have a maybe money's not as important to them. Maybe they like the vibe. But the problem, I'll tie the two points you guys made together, is this: one, the real problem Ens has is this. Yeah, they had a good team. Like, yeah, the Dallas run looks good. But Spinks was the main reason why they were so good. Because he's such a mega player. And if you lose him, there isn't another player you can replace him with right now. Like, the actual funny thing is, as Hick Kassad says, if you actually look at their team now, they really should have been the team that went crazy to get Dexter. If they had Dexter and Spinks, mate, now we'd be cooking with gas with that line. But imagine that squad. So I look at their team and it's like, sadly, this was always going to happen. I figure they could probably still be good. But I, I, I don't believe that, like, there's a player that's going to replace him and they're going to be better. Like, sadly, it's probably it's just the nature of being a smaller team in esports and on the side of why he goes to the team it's like I gave on the example back there the reason you can't totally blame the like the football player who goes to the biggest club is because the other thing they're all thinking is this they're not thinking how you are Maui as an analyst like but look at all the problems they've had and like maybe the coach doesn't even work and it's never because th- here's the problem with players as well yeah, yeah. players never think they're the one that'll film it. it'll never be me like when I join Vitaly that's going to yeah, be better Zero's gonna, yeah Zero's going to be the best in the world now I've got the best in the world open instead of Hades and you know what Zonic he's going to love coaching me so he's going to be back on his prime and all those great Astralis players I've always wanted to play with them and what I get paid loads of money and I'm famous in Vitaly like to, essentially to Spinks he doesn't think there is a downside mate. Right, him, right. This, is, this is his dream deal like, I'm signing I bet he'll even do it he should even do what Harlan did because I'd do that fucking bullshit thing they all do in football <laughs> where you go it was always my dream to play for Vitaly you know when they do that because the yeah, really yeah, famous yeah, thing yeah. Maui in English football just to lay it on for like dumbass fans they always lie if they're a foreigner and claim that like that English club they're joining was like their boyhood club even though there's no way like a fucking Danish player was like <laughs> Manchester City in like the 1980s or something. But, but yeah the, the joke is like players always just see them they only see the green is, the grass is greener when it's joining the big org you know because they think it's their time to be the top player now you know unless you unless you have the you know, uh, foreign investment coming in of like half a billion dollars or anything like that, right? That you can be a PSG or a Manchester City, right? And he has to settle with the fact that they're going to be your Tottenham, right? They're going to be yes. Borussia Dortmund, uh, your uh, Olympic Marseille, right? They, they're going to be sending, sending their players. We, all, we mentioned Luka Modric. He was he was a Tottenham player before he went yeah. to Real Madrid. No, yeah. Not many people remember that. But, you know, you have to accept that fact. And it's going to be very difficult for them to find another replacement, you know, uh, that's going to be so impactful like, like Spinks. Was, but like you said, there is no downside for, for Spinks, right? See, what we uh, need, obviously, Kassad in esports, if I'm putting two and two together, is we just need that mega shady, like, Croatian, like, man, like agent guy who's the one who sells all those players. Because if you yeah. don't know, there's that, if you think esports is bad, there's a guy, famously, Modric is one of the players. There's this guy in their region, Maui Snake, that's so powerful as an agent. He basically just, like, decides where you go, and then he gets, like, loads of the money himself every time you go he to the He's now stuck in Bosnia, yeah. and he cannot leave the country <laughs> because they want to put him in prison. I'm not doubting he's going to make a criminal, obviously, <laughs> He's Dungeons living in a hotel. He is living in a freaking hotel for like a couple of years now. He can't yeah. escape anywhere. He's just sitting there having his millions and just enjoying life yeah. as much as he can, you know. It's classic. Want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.